Hello everyone, this is here up here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation for the DS. Previously, we arrived in Somnia, in the other world. Sounds like the king and queen are deep in slumber, and their son the prince has gone missing. Heirat seems to bear a striking resemblance to this prince, so we got a noble garb from the armor shop. Now we'll infiltrate Somnia Castle. This is Somnia Castle, don't you know? We can't go allowing any old riffraff to drift in and out. Why don't you go and make a nuisance of yourself somewhere else? How welcoming. Looks like castles are tough to enter in any dimension, I. Our destiny lies within the castle, but how are we going to get inside, Heirot? How indeed. Heirot will equip this noble garb we got from the shop in town. M my liege! Can this be true? T tell me! Do my eyes deceive me? Is it really you? Uh, are you the Prince of Somnia? Well, yes. My liege, it is you! Oh, we have waited so long for your return. Welcome back to your home. This is truly a day for rejoicing. C can it be? Welcome back to your home. This is truly a day for rejoicing. Come on, Heirot. He's moved out of the way. Now's our chance to enter the castle. It worked. Well, ain't that sweet, Prince? Hello, sir. Ha! Ha! My liege, you have returned. You still remember me, I take it. Your trusty Captain Rusty. I always knew you would return despite all the rumors that you had met a grisly end. You must let everyone in the castle know that you are back. Oh, what joy! Rusty Eye, he certainly looks familiar. A lot like Blade. What is it, Heyrot? Have you met the captain before? Someone who looks a lot like him. Imagine the joy the king and queen would feel if they could see that their beloved son has returned. But locked in sleep's embrace, they know nothing of the world outside. It is a tragic state of affairs. All that sleeping can't be good for the king and queen. Their muscles will shrivel up if they sleep forever. Well, they will atrophy. Surely there must be some way to wake them. You're really back. Finally, some good news. You're a king at this prince business, Heirot. Come, Heirot. Now that we're in, Let's try talking to a few people in the castle. So Rusty asked us... <laughs> M my liege, at long last you have returned. Wait till I tell the others. What was he mumbling about at the end there? Tell who? Ugh. These cells are all damp and horrible. The door is locked. So you've finally decided to return, have you? Everyone here has been worried sick, you know. I'd give ev I'd give anything to see the look on Chancellor Keating's face when he finds out you're back. It seems like this Chancellor Keating fellow won't exactly welcome the return of the Prince. 
I can't wait to see the look on this Keating fellow's face, either. <laughs> if the king doesn't wake up soon, who knows what will become of his kingdom? The best I can do is cook up an alarmingly spicy soup, and hope the smell of it shocks him awake. Hold on, you're not the prince by any chance? Maybe. Right, I'd better get cooking a celebration meal. Tonight we'll dine like, er, uh, kings. Whoa, that's some spicy soup. If that won't wake up the king, nothing will. The castle's inhabitants all seem deeply concerned about King Somnus. Nothing in those pots. How sad. Who are you, mister? The prince? Really? Really, really, really? We used to play together all the time, didn't we, Princey Wincy? You remember, don't you? But there's something different about you. I don't think you're my Princey Wincy at all. You can't fool me. Uh-oh. This kid's seeing right through you, Herot. Quick, say something royal. Off with her head! This child is sharp. Dream seers often claim that innocent eyes are best equipped to see the th truth. Ah, oh, there's even a cat out here. Meow. Must be nice being a royal cat. Probably gets three feasts a day. What an adorable little kitty. And what have we here? Nothing of interest. I've spent months poring over these dusty tomes, looking for ancient techniques to awaken people. But I found nothing that will shake the king and queen from their slumber. Reading books about staying awake would put me right to sleep. It seems they've tried all sorts of methods to get the king to wake up, but to no avail. A book entitled, 1001 Jokes for Adventurers. What grade did the pirate get on his seafaring exam? A high C! Oh boy. Herot sighs and returns the book to the shelf. A book entitled The Mysterious Metal King. Sounds pretty interesting. Legend speaks of a king who lavished wonderful prizes on any who helped him collect many medals. But whether or not this king still exists is shrouded in mystery. Very interesting. No books of interest there. None there. All right. Another locked treasure room. We'll have to remember it when we get the final key. Now we'll head upstairs. So, the rumors sweeping the castle are true for once. It really is you. And it looks like all that adventuring has toughened you up. Whoa, he's crying tears of joy. Maybe we took the royal ruse a little far. The people of Somnia seem to love their prince just as much as their king. The sky grows darker, a chill wind blows. It seems that the world itself will be devoured. Things aren't looking too hot, are they? 
Apparently not. He's right, things look grim, but chatting about the weather ain't gonna fix anything. It must be Murdaw. His influence is growing. I knew you'd come back. I just knew it. The others kept saying you'd been eaten by some monster, but I never heeded their words. The Prince of Somnia was a popular guy, I. Apparently. My, it seems everyone was on tender hooks, awaiting the return of the Prince. My liege, I am sorry to report that your parents continue to sleep without any sign of awakening. An entire year has passed since you set out on your quest to find a way to rouse them. We have awaited your return, hoping each day that you would bring good tidings. Now that you are here, I trust that you have discovered a method to bring your parents back to us. Uh, sorry, working on it. But, but you look uncomfortable. Is something the matter? Why do you say nothing? Well, I am the silent protagonist. Well, uh, maybe the prince is too tired to chat right now. Long road and everything like that. Interesting. So the prince has been off trying to find a way to wake his parents. Welcome back to Somnia, my liege. Chancellor Keating has just stepped out on an, on an errand, I'm afraid. When he sees that you've returned, I wager he'll be somewhat taken aback. Well, as long as he doesn't take us out to the front and give us the boot... Chancellor Keating's away at the moment, it seems. Convenient for us. My liege, I am working on composing an epic poem to celebrate your glorious return. Seeking inspiration, I gazed at the northern mountains. There my eyes rested on a small hamlet that nestles there. A small hamlet in the northern mountains, huh? I sensed then that one day you would bring peace to the people of this world, from the smallest village to the largest city. That's a lot to live up to. Small hamlet in the northern mountains, that sounds like Weaver's Peak, I hey, Arot? Yes, indeed. I wonder what this world's version is like. We may find out eventually. My liege, please forgive me. I have expressed orders from Chancellor Keating not to allow anyone to pass, no matter their status. Doesn't Prince trump Chancellor? I'm sure Chancellor Keating did not foresee your return, but still, orders are orders. I am certain that the Chancellor will soon return. Until then, I must follow orders. What in the name of the goddess are you wittering on about, man? C Captain Rusty! The prince is free to roam wherever he pleases without being impeded by a mere underling. But, but Chancellor Keating told me. And if Chancellor Keating told you to eat a slime, I suppose you'd do that, too? I'll assume full responsibility for this. You are free to proceed, my liege. Your parents are upstairs. Shall we, your highness? Hee <laughs> hee. We've come this far. Let's go, Herot. Oh, er, I mean Prince Herot. Hope no one heard me say that. Thank you very much, Captain Rusty. We're free to proceed.
P please forgive me, my liege. I should not have given priority to Chancellor Keating's authority. Ah, uh, don't mention it. This Keating fellow's created a really hostile work environment. Hasn't he, though? Up the stairs we go, my liege. This kingdom was due a bit of luck, and it looks like uh, today our fortunes finally started to change. Er, uh, yeah, let's go with that. Hopefully he won't be too let down when he finds out the truth. Smelling salts made from slime goo, incense brewed from Haxor scales. But nothing works. I'm at my wit's end. There must be some way to revive the king and queen. Hmm? It's you. You have returned. Oh, how I have awaited this day. And with the prince back on the scene, Chancellor Keating won't be able to... Ahem. No, ignore me. I'm just jabbering away. Complete nonsense, of course. Ha <laughs> ha! Something tells me this Keating guy won't be giving you the warmest welcome, sweet prince. I sense it would be wise to have a look at the king before Chancellor Keating returns. Good idea. Pinch me! I must be dreaming! A real prince has actually taken the trouble to talk to me. I'm new here, so everyone tends to ignore me. I was beginning to wonder if I was invisible. This has changed my life. It really has. Thank you so much for noticing me. Recognition at last. He doesn't need to thank us. The prince is a very kind man. Watching that whole exchange has made me a little happier, too. Another bookshelf... with nothing. But here we find a silk robe. Of course, Millie doesn't need that. Not at all. My heart breaks to see them unable to awake, trapped in the deepest slumber. The king is silent, but the queen often mumbles in her sleep. Did you happen to hear her words? Not yet. She seems anxious to acquire a mirror. A mirror, huh? Only our elegant queen could be concerned about her appearance, even as she sleeps. I'm sure she must be talking about Ra's mirror, but why? Why indeed? Uh, I don't think this lady gets it. The queen appears to be sleeping deeply. She seems to be mumbling something in her sleep. The mirror. If only we had the mirror. Mirror? That must be Ra's mirror she's talking about. In the other world, King Somnus was seeking the mirror. Mirror? She said, Mirror, I? I? The king appears to be sleeping deeply. His breathing is soft and steady. Aye, he's asleep, all right. His aura doesn't suggest any suffering. If we say yes, she seems anxious to acquire a mirror. Only our elegant queen could be concerned about her appearance, even as she sleeps. Yes, she must be talking about Ra's mirror. Alright, so these folks also need the mirror. Chancellor Keating. Uh oh. My liege, Chancellor Keating has returned.
So you have returned. The news was somewhat unexpected, I must confess. Of course, I am overjoyed. It has been a terrible burden to govern the kingdom in your absence. I'm sure it has. But allow me to gaze at your princely visage. Forgive me, but is there something not amiss here? Well, what do you mean? What could be amiss? This is undoubtedly the prince of our fair kingdom. Captain, I don't doubt your sincere conviction, but listen to this interesting tidbit I heard just now. A certain shabbily dressed young man is said to have purchased a suit of noble garb earlier on today. Uh-oh. But, but surely you're not saying that this is an Im impostor? I sincerely want to believe this is the real prince, but we can afford to take no chances. But, but... Allow me to pose one simple question to prove whether or not this is the prince. If you are indeed the prince of this realm, then this little teaser should not present the slightest problem. As you are perhaps aware, the prince had a cherished sister who died tragically young. Tell me, prince, what was that sister's name? This is a trick question. I guess I'll go ahead and answer Tanya. M my liege! Everyone heard that I trust. It is clear that this is not the prince of this or any other realm. Only an impostor would have failed to recognize the name of the prince's dear departed sister. Captain Rusty, I hold you personally I hold you personally responsible for this unforgivable Brit breach of castle security. Guards, seize these feeble frauds at once. Yes, sir. And just like that, we're getting thrown out. I hope it's thrown out anyway. Not locked in the dungeon. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And don't come back! Fine, then. If it hadn't been for Chancellor Keating's quick thinking, we would have been completely hoodwinked. Gah! So this is Keating in action. Don't you dare darken the doors of this castle again. Think yourself lucky we didn't ditch you in the dungeon. He's got a point. We should be glad we're only getting the heave-ho, I. Don't worry, Hayrot. Our fate clearly lies elsewhere for now. Well, that certainly wasn't the finest moment in my merchant's career. Do tell. I thought I'd flog some of the fabled water from the town of Amor. It's meant to cure anything. A more or a more. I was sure it would do the trick and have the king and queen up and about in no time, but not a chance. What's that? You want to know where the town of Amor is? Yes, we would. Just head northwest from here and go right round, then point yourselves southeast and keep walking. In any case, it was strange to hear the Queen muttering about a mirror. Maybe if someone were to bring her the mirror key they were talking about on Amor, she might wake up. I wonder. Oh, a mirror key, huh? Northwest, then southeast? Sounds like a pretty loopy route to me. 
not like we have any other options, now that we got kicked out. Amor's as good a destination as any. The Mirror Key? I wonder if that has some connection to Ra's mirror. Maybe so, Millie, maybe so. Well, that was odd. First they practically parade us into the castle, then they dump us like dirty bilge water. Ah well, guess we might as well hit a more, eh? Hee <laughs> hee, all hail fake Prince Hayerot. Oh, don't let it get you down. Let's keep searching for Ra's mirror. That's bound to offer us some clues. We'll put the Platinum Mail back on, and we have no further need for the Noble Garb. And Amor is actually to the west of us, south of the mountains. For now, we'll do a little exploring, and encounter some of the local wildlife. Hello, Baby Goyle, and Ruffled Goons. Bye-bye, enemies! Next we have a She-Slime and Silencing Rams. Let's crack them up, Millie. And give them a flying knee. Bye-bye, foes. A dead resident and a baby goyle. Bye bye, monsters. Ah, what have we here? Another checkpoint? You don't look fit to leave the kingdom. I'd turn back if I were you. The monsters get pretty ornery past this checkpoint. Ahoy! More uncharted territory to chart. This mission is really bringing out the explorer in me. I doubt there's any way he's going to let us pass, Hayrot. Let's go. It'll be a while before we can pass. If you look that much like the prince, it'll be easy to recognize the guy if we ever meet him. To get to Amor, we need to head northwest from Somnia and go all the way round, then follow the mountains towards the southeast. Thanks for the reminder, Millie. We're not going there quite yet. We now have some ruffled goons. We have ruffled their feathers. Silencing rams, a she-slime, and a ruffled goon appear. Yes, these silencing rams like to silence the party. Goodbye, enemies. And Hayerot reaches level 13. Congratulations, Hayerot. There seems to be a tower nestled in the mountains here. A silencing ram and a she-slime. Bye-bye, enemies.
A tower. <laughs> Just how tall is this tower? Maybe it got its name because it goes all the way to the moon. There's something sinister about this place. Unfortunately, the door is shut fast. It looks like we'll need a key. Loctai, great. I wonder if the key spoken of over in Amor is what we need to get in there. Hello, she slimes. And farewell. Next we have a couple more ruffled goons. We'll ruffle them again. Bye bye. Next up, a trio of dead residents. They like to do leg sleeps that... They like to do leg sweeps that cause party members to miss a turn. Bye-bye, dead residents. You are now permanent residents. Hehe. <laughs> Dead Residents, Silencing Rams, and a She-Slime. Yep, there's that leg sweep. The same one, Melly. We could have beaten them both. Bye bye, enemies. Now back to Somnia. Let's go somewhere else, Hayrot. Hey, I doubt the castle will have us back anytime soon. I'm getting sick of the scenery here anyway. At least we got a look at the royal family before being thrown out of the castle. There is that. We'll rest here at the end. Thank you, sir. And in the next episode, we'll make our way to Amor. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.